Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It is time now to meet today's cool kid. We talked about him last week when he made headlines yes. in his hometown of Birmingham, Alabama. And we wanted to meet him so badly, so we had to invite him down to the circle <laughs> with the muscles, the muscle size of mole heels and fists filled with food to feed the hungry. Come on now. <laughs> this four-year-old phenom is restoring hope. <laughs> Here to share how he makes a difference one meal at a time. Please welcome President Austin, also his dad, TJ Perry. Yay! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Austin. Hey, buddy. How you how doing? Are you? Oh, oh, come right here. Come on down. Well, can I get a little love or something? I mean, I'd like to hug. How you oh, doing, buddy? Daddy. How you doing, Daddy? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Come, Come on, have a seat. Hello there. How hey, are you doing? Good <laughs> to see you. Good yes. to see you. President Austin, mm. thanks for joining us here at The Circle. We appreciate you. And we also appreciate all the things you're doing in Birmingham. Tell me about how did you get into feeding the homeless? Because everybody deserves to be loved. Everybody does deserve to be loved. Yes. That is yes. so awesome. I love it. And who designed this amazing costume you have on? Well, well I'm a superhero and every superhero needs a cape. Oh. All right. You better, oh, you better save them. You better save them. Okay, so how did you get started actually feeding the homeless? Sit up for me. Actually, TJ, you yeah, tell us. Yeah, yeah, so we were, at, we were at home you. watching television. Mm -hmm. And we were watching some pandas. Mm -hmm. And the mother panda was leaving her cubs. So he asked what would happen to the baby panda. And I said, well, maybe it'll be homeless. Mm -hmm. So the funny thing is, is Austin narrowly escaped homelessness at two years old. <laughs> uh -oh. He decided that he was going to leave. He was going to leave? Yeah, he what? took his bag and one of my watches. And he decided he was just going to leave the house. Well, he wanted to keep the time, at least. Right. Yeah, so, so <laughs> at an early age, he learned about homelessness. Uh -huh. <laughs> we actually have a video of him trying to leave the house. <laughs> Let's take a we'll be running away from home. You gonna come back? New night? Okay, bye bye. I'll see you later. Well, I'm oh, just, does that make you laugh? Why are you laughing? You're gonna leave mom and dad? <laughs> <laughs> so after that, we had a conversation. Say, listen. You're not old enough to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you leave, you'll find yourself homeless. Mm -hmm. So that was a conversation two years ago. And then fast forward to recently, back in February, we were watching the Panda Show, and the homeless subject came up again. Yeah, he, he brought it up. Well, I told him that the Panda would be homeless. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, let's talk about homeless. You know, are people homeless? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. And I reminded him about what he did when he was two years yeah. old. Yeah. So, he was infatuated with homelessness. Mm -hmm. So I took him to see homeless people. Mm -hmm. And I, my idea was just to ride by and, okay, buddy, we're going to get this over with. Right. But Mr. Austin wanted to get out and feed them. Wow. So, my God, President so Austin. You know, yes. How does it make you feel to give back to the community in that way? Great. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. So how did you even come up with it? Like, okay, he wanted to get out and make sure they fed them, but how did you start? Like, what, what, can, what did you do in the beginning to yeah. make this all possible? To start the process. So yes. when he told me he wanted to feed the homeless, what I did was I took him by just to take a look again. And then I took him to Burger King after he told me okay. that he wanted to feed them. Okay. So we went to Burger King and we got some what? What did we what get? What did you get? What did we get to feed them? Chicken sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, and, and the thing about it is chicken sandwiches at Burger King are a dollar. Right. Yeah. So five bucks can feed four people. So yes. anybody can do it to help. So yes. And it just warmed my heart to see my child out there making people smile, no matter what they were going through, you know, even if it was only for 30 seconds, these people were smiling and yeah. giving them high five, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It has to be gratifying. Absolutely. Absolutely. As a parent, you like, see somebody at four years old yeah. wanting to do this. That's yeah. beautiful. And now you all want to expand it. You want to, you want to go further than <laughs> Birmingham? Yes. Okay. Well, well, tell us about your plan. Well, we, where would you like to go? What's your next stop? My next stop? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What next, what's your next city you want to you wanna get into? To help, the to help the homeless, to feed the homeless. You like Texas? Yes. You gonna do Texas? Texas. Yes. Okay. He always talks about Texas. So, you know, the, the nation poured out their love to us and everybody was sending donations and things like that. So 
once that happened, we decided to devise another plan. What we're going to do is try to get some healthcare professionals to come yes. in and help these people with mental illnesses. Because yes. I used to think that homelessness was just choosing not to get a job, but no, it's more it's to not. it than that. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. so you know, it's more than lace your boots up and go to work. So yeah. I want to try to get some healthcare professionals involved, and then maybe we can branch out to other cities and do the same thing Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Oh my God. Absolutely. So proud and so, of you all. But we're going to have to balance it all out. Hollywood has reached out to him. Uh, but really? Tell us a little bit about that. What, what do they want to do? They want to put him in a movie? So tell us. There is a very prestigious pro uh, producer that reached out to CBS, uh, a mutual friend of ours, and he has an idea. We haven't spoke yet, so... You know, Atlanta's close, so, yeah. you know, it, I want to speak to every producer I at that point. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see what he has to say. Once he gets back off of vacation, we'll figure well, it out. We are claiming that for you Come and on. also Austin. Austin, Absolutely. I just got to ask, I know I love the cape you're wearing, but who's your favorite hero? Who's your favorite superhero? President Austin. President Austin? <laughs> Yourself? <laughs> well, wait a minute. Yeah. That's good. Austin. You're your favorite hero? Yeah. What about Batman? What about Black Panther? No. 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 <laughs> well, you know what, Miss Claude? Yeah. I think we should we should give President Austin something. <laughs> I, I think we should. We yes. <laughs> this says you're our hero, President Austin. Sister Circle Live. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Hold yeah. your yeah. trophy up. Yeah. yeah. All right. That is so cute. Say thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. He's about to take me He'll out. He'll take you out. Don't <laughs> let him take you out, Quad. Well, listen, Austin, thank you so much. And TJ, thanks for being here. Thanks Since for having me. For us. all that you do for the homeless and for more amazing things to keep and keeping up with President Austin, uh, listen, visit uh, PresidentAustin.org. Come on, .org? .org. Yeah, .org. Already. <laughs> Not .com. <laughs>